All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you guys another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great day. Today is Thursday, February 27th of 2020. So what we are looking at here in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Roy incentivized testnet version of the wallet installed so that you can start earning passive ADA on your holdings. So if you guys are interested in this type of content, go ahead and smash that like button for me. If you are new to the channel and if you do find value from these types of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I wanna keep you guys informed on everything related to cryptocurrency. Click that notification bell so you can get notified when I post a new video. So to get started, what we're taking a look at here, uh, just wanted to preface this video here. We're looking at the Shelly Incentivized Testnet website. A lot of information can be found on this website. I'm gonna to link to it in the description below. They've got this really cool node map on the website. I think it's just incredible to look at. Uh, it's an interactive display of the Shelly Incentivized Testnet and it rotates to the next block that is produced by whichever node in their geographical location. So really, really cool. Um, you know, whoever built this did a great job. Huge shout out to you. Props, you know, it's beautiful. It's interactive, you know, you can play around with it. You can drag it wherever. So I just wanted to show you that. If you guys wanna check it out, it's really awesome to see. Uh, I'll leave it in the link down in the description below. But uh, anyway, so to get started with this video, what we're going to need to do if you have not done so already is you're gonna to want to download the incentivized testnet version of Yoroi. I'm gonna show you how to do that here. What you wanna do, right now I'm using Google Chrome. Uh, I'm sure that you're able to do this with the Brave browser as well. I know a lot of viewers use Brave, but just for simplicity's sake, I know many people are familiar with Chrome, so we're gonna be using Chrome in this video today. Up at the top right, there's going to be three dots. So you wanna click on the three dots up at the top right, and there's a drop down menu that will pop up once you click on it. We're gonna scroll down to more tools and extensions. So this is gonna automatically redirect you to where you can choose from the extensions that are already enabled on your Chrome web browser. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click up at the top left where there's three lines, and that's gonna pull up this side tab here. So at the bottom, it's gonna give you the option to open Chrome Web Store. So we're gonna click on that. And this is gonna pull you up to the Chrome Web Store. So this is where we can download certain apps, or extensions, anything like that. In this case, we're gonna search for Yoroi. And you can see here one of the search results is the Shelly Testnet. So let's go ahead and search for that. And this is exactly what we need to see. So Yoroi Shelly Testnet, and it's offered by YoroiWallet.com. So we know that this is the real one. We're gonna click on Add to Chrome, and this is gonna automatically download the app extension onto your web browser. Add extension. And yes, as we can see here, we got a little pop-up here. So Yoroi Shelly Testnet has been added to Chrome. So use this extension by clicking on this icon. So it's very easy. Uh, in order to access it, what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on it. Awesome, all right, you guys. So this is what you should see after you have downloaded the app extension. After you've done that, we can go ahead and choose the language. So we're gonna choose English. I'm gonna click continue. These are the terms of use. You wanna go ahead and look through this and down at the bottom, go ahead and check the box and hit continue. And now this gives us the option to either create a wallet, restore a wallet, or transfer funds from Daedalus. Now, many of my uh, past videos have been regarding Daedalus for the incentivized testnet. So if you guys are using Daedalus, go ahead and check those videos out. I'm gonna link to that here up at the top right. In this case, for those of you Euroi users, this is going to be beneficial for you. As far as what we're going to be doing here with, uh, with Euroi, what we need to do is restore our wallet. So now you have your Euroi mainnet wallet. What you wanna do is restore that wallet backup. So we're gonna click on restore. And then in this case here, we have a 15 word recovery phrase. So those are the, that's the seed phrase that you had written down at the beginning when you first created your mainnet wallet for Yoroi. So we're gonna click on that option. 
And I'm gonna go through the process here of putting in my information. You guys wanna do the same in your instance. Go ahead and choose the wallet name. Type in the recovery phrase exactly how it was when you wrote, uh, wrote it down, and then go ahead and type in your spending password. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. I will be with you guys in just a minute. All right, so guys, I went ahead and entered in the information for my Euroy wallet. And after you click on confirm, once you've entered in your wallet details, uh, it's going to prompt you with this message here saying that if you had any ADA in your wallet on November 29, 2019, you have to upgrade your wallet to a Shelly reward wallet. Uh, do you want to check if your wallet needs to be upgraded? So if that's going to be what we need to do in this case. So we're going to check. And we're gonna see here that yes. So in this case, what it's doing is essentially it's creating a rewards wallet for the balance that you had held in your ROI on the time of the snapshot. Now this rewards wallet is where your funds will get transferred to on the testnet. So guys, keep in mind, the mainnet ADA will remain in your mainnet wallet. This is going to be testnet ADA. So this is not technically counted as real ADA, but the rewards that you earn for staking and delegating are going to transfer over onto the mainnet. So I hope that makes sense. In this case, what we're gonna do, since we've checked to see if we needed to transfer the funds, we're gonna go ahead and transfer funds. And that's essentially what we're looking at here. So this is saying that you are on a testnet network. So this is exactly what we need to see here. Uh, in just a moment, it's gonna pull up my wallet balance here and we should see that here in just a moment. It does take a little bit of time, so guys, just go ahead and be patient. And that is pretty much it as far as restoring your wallet. Uh, now, what we're gonna do after the wallet balance has updated, I'm gonna show you how to go about delegating your ADA. All right, you guys, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, you guys, we're back. So the transaction has been confirmed on the blockchain, and what we're looking at here, so once you have gone through the process of restoring the wallet, it does take a minute for the balance to show up uh, because it does need to be confirmed by the blockchain. But after it is confirmed, you can see here that the balance will show up in your wallet. Um, and then what we're gonna do, let's take a look at some of these tabs here. So the first one, we can see send and receive. Now guys, keep in mind, this is gonna be on the testnet, so you don't wanna be sending ADA, testnet ADA to a mainnet wallet. That's gonna mess that's gonna mess you up. Um, but so just something to keep in mind. So you got send and receive, then you got the dashboard. This is gonna show you all the metrics of your rewards and you can kind of keep an eye on the total amount that you have delegated, the total amount of ADA, and how much rewards you can be expecting in the upcoming epochs. So you've got a few different things to take a look at here. I like how easily laid out it is in your ROI. So the user interface is very, very friendly. And then the last tab we have here is delegation. So now this is going to be where you can go to choose a stake pool to delegate your ADA. So now this is going to be uh, a way for you to choose whichever stake pool. Um, now, a lot of people would like to just randomly choose a stake pool, so you can definitely do that. Uh, but I believe that there's a way to optimize your rewards. And I went ahead and made a video about that as well. So if you guys do wanna check that out, giving you guys some tips as to what to look for when it comes to choose a stake pool. So I'll leave a link for that in the top right as well. Uh, go ahead and check that out. I think you'll find lots of value from it. But essentially what we can see here in terms of the user interface, you've got the option to search for a stake pool by name. You can sort either by randomness, revenue, or margins. So it does kind of organize it in terms of metrics for you as well. And then you know, you've got the option here to delegate. It'll show you the pool name, the pool ticker. This is going to be the um, key, the uh, public key. And then this is going to be the percentage in terms of rewards. And then if the pool does cause, uh, does charge a uh, fee or anything like that to delegate to them, this is what you're gonna see here. So yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be it for this video here today, guys. I really do hope that you found some value. If you guys are able to restore your Euroi wallet using this tutorial, let me know how it goes for you. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, you guys, I hope you did find some value. Be sure to drop a like for me on your way out. And if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All righty, until the next one, take care.